is the Sacramento Weir. The classroom is outside and the lesson, the Sacramento Weir. It's very labor intensive when they go to close it and open it. UC Davis professor Jay Lund taking advantage of a rare event, the gates opening for the first time in more than a decade. The farmers would like those gates closed sooner. The, uh, the property owners, city of Sacramento, would probably like the gates open more. The weir now closed. Other questions? But the impact remains. Just drive I-80 across Yolo Bypass. And it really is uh, uh, stunning to see when you drive over it, especially if, uh, uh, um, if you haven't seen it before. A level of overflow that is a recently rare site, given five years of drought, but one the state designed the bypass to take on. The Sacramento River is the biggest river in the state, and when it floods, it really floods. An engineering feat more than a century old following historic flooding. 1862 was, was, might have been the biggest flood that we've ever seen. This was sort of known as the Inland Sea in the wintertime because it was, it was all one big river. The Yolo Bypass is impressive, where runoff from the Sierra becomes a culmination of the Sacramento and Feather Rivers, joining the outflow of the American River with San Francisco Bay as the final destination. If it wasn't for the bypass, um, which takes 80% of the flood flow with really big flows, Sacramento would be very wet. An overdue healthy winter fulfilling the purpose of a bypass that is the largest in scale west of the Mississippi. It's a good site for drought and it's a, a good reminder that we have big floods here. A unique design in our backyard responsible for protecting the residents along the Sacramento Valley.